Here is Nusita's weekly forecast for the expected post activities in the realm of software quality on social media channels in week 37 of 2025. Our analysis is based on the social media post data from LinkedIn, YouTube, X, and other internet sources released last week, which revealed dynamic daily changes. I'll leverage the provided web results, which cover software quality trends for 2025, and combine them with logical extrapolation of ongoing conversations in the tech community. The ranking is based on the prominence of topics in recent publications, their relevance to current software quality challenges, and their engagement potential on the mentioned platforms. Each topic's ranking reflects its immediacy, impact, and discussion volume, with reasons for placement and a forecast for future trends included. So, what will be the top 10 hot topics this week? Buckle up and let's start the countdown. 10. Low-code, no-code testing platforms. This topic ranks at 10 due to its growing but still niche adoption in discussions, primarily highlighted in blogs and LinkedIn trends for 2025, where it's seen as an accessible entry point for non-technical teams to contribute to QA without deep coding expertise. It's less dominant compared to more established automation trends, but shows steady interest in social media posts about simplifying testing workflows. My advice? If your team is resource constrained or includes non-developers, integrate low-code tools like AskUI, Testim, or Mabel to democratize testing. Start small by automating repetitive UI tests to build confidence, Focus on training sessions to ensure everyone understands limitations, such as handling complex logic, and pair it with manual oversight to maintain accuracy. Prediction for next three months. Adoption will accelerate modestly as more platforms release AI-enhanced features, leading to a 20-30% increase in enterprise trials, but challenges with customization will spark debates on their scalability in complex environments. Nine. Big Data and Data Quality Testing Ranked 9 because it's a specialized area gaining traction in web searches and blogs focused on 2025 trends, with mentions in social media about data-driven metrics, but it lacks the broad engagement of core QA practices. It's relevant for industries handling large datasets, but not yet a weekly hotspot across all sources. My advice? Prioritize tools like Apache Griffin or Talend for validating data integrity. Implement automated checks for completeness, accuracy, and timeliness in your pipelines. Collaborate with data engineers early to define quality gates, reducing downstream issues, and ensuring compliance with regulations like GDPR. Prediction for next three months. With holiday season data surges, discussions will intensify around real-time testing frameworks, potentially leading to new open source tools emerging and a shift toward integrated data quality in CI-CD pipelines. 8. Cybersecurity Testing This earns spot 8 from frequent appearances in trend forecasts on blogs and social media posts, touching on security in AI contexts, reflecting heightened concerns post-recent breaches. It's important, but ranks lower due to its overlap with broader security discussions rather than pure software quality. My advice, embed security scans using tools like OWASP Zap or SonarCube into your testing suite. Conduct regular penetration tests and vulnerability assessments from the design phase. Foster a culture of secure by design by training teams on common threats, ensuring quality isn't compromised for speed. Prediction for next three months, rising cyber threats will drive more regulatory focus with tools evolving to include AI for threat simulation resulting in a surge of certifications and best practice guides by year-end. 7. Continuous Testing in CI-CD Ranked 7 Based on consistent mentions in DevOps-related blogs and social media threads about deployment without breaking things, emphasizing integration with pipelines. It's a foundational trend, but not as buzzy this week as emerging AI topics. My advice? Leverage Jenkins or GitHub actions to automate tests at every commit. Define clear pass-fail criteria and monitor metrics like test coverage, pass-fail ratio, amount of executed tests, etc. Encourage shift-left practices to catch issues early, reducing rework and improving overall release velocity. 
Prediction for next three months. As teams prepare for 2026 projects, adoption of AI-optimized CI-CD will grow, with faster feedback loops becoming standard and reducing average deployment times by 15-20%. Six, shift left and shift right testing. This topic ranks at six, driven by blog predictions for 2025 and social media conversations on balancing quality with speed, highlighting early involvement in development and post-production monitoring. It's widely discussed, but overshadowed by automation hype. My advice, involve QA from requirements gathering using tools like Jira for collaborative planning. Improve IT operations of cloud solutions or on PEMI software systems with monitoring via Datadog. This holistic approach minimizes defects and enhances user feedback loops for iterative improvements. Prediction for next three months. With agile methodologies maturing, expect more case studies on successful implementations, leading to broader tool integrations and a 25% uptick in teams adopting hybrid shift strategies. Five, test automation best practices. Ranked five from high engagement on social media about code quality and automation frameworks, plus blogs emphasis on evolving trends. It's a core QA staple with practical advice dominating recent posts. My advice, focus on modular maintainable scripts with frameworks like Selenium, Playwright, or Cypress. Prioritize flaky test fixes and parallel execution to cut run times. Regularly review and refactor automation suites to align with evolving product features. Prediction for next three months. AI enhancements and tools will automate script generation more reliably, sparking a wave of upskilling resources and reducing manual maintenance efforts by up to 30%. Four, technical debt management. This climbs to four, fueled by social media posts on code quality and global surveys in blogs noting it as a major barrier, with real-time discussions on mitigation strategies showing strong relevance this week. My advice, use metrics like cyclomatic complexity in SonarCube to quantify debt. Allocate dedicated sprints for refactoring and prioritize high-impact areas. Promote clean code principles team-wide to prevent accumulation and sustain long-term maintainability. Prediction for next three months. As end-of-year reviews loom, tools for automated debt detection will proliferate, leading to more organizations embedding debt reduction in KPIs and seeing improved code health metrics. Three, balancing speed and quality in delivery. Ranked three due to frequent social media threads from QA professionals debating deadlines versus thoroughness, echoed in blogs as a persistent challenge amid agile pressures. High engagement reflects its immediate applicability. My advice, adopt risk-based testing to focus on critical paths. Use agile retrospectives to refine processes and tools like test quality, test rail, or x-ray for efficient tracking. Communicate value to stakeholders by quantifying the cost of defects, fostering a quality-first mindset without halting progress. Prediction for next three months. With Q4 releases, expect heightened focus on hybrid models, including AI-assisted prioritization, resulting in frameworks that cut time to market while maintaining 95% plus defect detection rates. Two, evils and metrics for software quality. This is number two, prominent in social media posts on AI evals and blog forecasts, stressing measurable quality and highlighting KPIs for revealing issues. Its analytical depth drives discussions across sources. My advice, define key metrics like defect density and MTTR using tools like Grafana. Conduct regular audits and tie them to business outcomes. Involve cross-functional teams in metric selection to ensure relevance and drive continuous improvement. Prediction for next three months, Advanced AI analytics will refine metrics, leading to standardized benchmarks and a proliferation of dashboards that integrate real-time eval data for proactive quality management. One, AI-driven testing and quality assurance. Topping the list at one, this dominates with overwhelming mentions in social media semantic searches and blog trends for 2025, including AI for automation and evaluations. High engagement and future-oriented buzz make it the hottest topic this week. My advice? 
Start with AI tools like AskUI, Catalan, or Appla tools for intelligent test generation. Pilot on non-critical features to validate accuracy. Combine with human oversight for ethical considerations and invest in team training to maximize ROI while addressing biases. Prediction for next three months. Rapid advancements will see AI agents handling end-to-end -end testing, with open source contributions surging and adoption rates climbing 40%, though ethical guidelines will emerge to mitigate over-reliance risks. Looking ahead to 2026 and 2027, software quality will likely pivot toward quantum-resistant testing as quantum computing matures, emphasizing secure algorithms and hybrid classical quantum simulations. AI agents will evolve into autonomous QA orchestrators, reducing human intervention by 50% while raising concerns over accountability. Sustainability metrics, like energy-efficient code audits, will become mandatory in regulations, driven by green tech initiatives. Ethical AI testing will expand to include bias detection in multimodal systems, and edge computing quality for IoT will surge with 6G rollout, fostering new standards for decentralized validation. Overall, the field will blend hyper-automation with human-centric governance to handle increasingly complex AI-infused software ecosystems. Hopefully this video gives you additional insights. What do you think about the hot topics this week? Write your views in the comments section below. In terms of further questions, feel free to write to us. We will analyze all important internet channels and release our analysis report every Monday. Follow or subscribe to this channel to stay up to date and know more than your competitors. Happy testing and see you next time.